Hi guys, pound land today. Pick this up. Shark bite tooth excavation. It's one of those egg things that you have to chip away at until you find the hidden treasure, whatever it may be. In this case, a shark's tooth is supposed to be in the middle. Now, I've got a little idea about a time-lapse video. <laughs> Tiny, isn't it, compared to the size of the box? But never mind. Um, yeah, rather than me sit there chipping away at it, I'm going to take it out of its plastic cover. And I wondered what would happen if we pour vinegar on it, whether it will dissolve. So I've got a cup. I'm going to put it in there, cover it with vinegar, and stick my time-lapse camera on it. And see how long it takes to dissolve, if it does. I don't know if it'll work, but I just thought it'd be worth a try. Just a slight sidestep from the planned video, the time-lapse video. When I rigged up that camera, my uh, Evo action camera, it didn't like the lights I was using. It was struggling putting um, those sliding grey lines across the picture because of the frequency of the LED lights I was using. So, I've just rigged up this board with these strips of LEDs that I bought uh, last year, I think, with the intention of using them as lighting strips for my videos. Never quite got round to it. So, what I've done now is I've screwed into this white board, which will be above my little uh, video box that I set up to try and do time-lapse. And when I tested it just now, the camera was quite happy with these. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the video description to my Grandad's Post Bag episode where I bought these after watching one of those big Clive.com videos. I thought I'd capture a little bit of what's going on using my mobile phone. So that's the time lapse. Sorry, hand shaking a bit. And the actual egg is bubbling away beautifully with vinegar on it. That's what we're using. Might have to add some more vinegar later if it um, runs out of strength. You really can't see very much in the camera at the moment. Well, we'll just leave it and see what happens. Just realised I forgot to plug in the power lead. So I don't know how long that will actually last on its own battery. So it just depends how long that's going to take. When I did the really long two day run, obviously I needed the power lead. I think we'd be lucky if we get more than a couple of hours on that. I might see if I can plug it in without moving the camera too much. The only problem with this setup is I'm not sure whether I put the camera too close. I 
can't tell whether that's actually in focus on the little screen there. So we'll have to wait for a couple of days, I expect, until we can check. Still, I can always buy another one of those eggs. They only cost a pound. We can set it all up again. Now that I've got my light strip set up, Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.